Snowflake is a cloud-based data warehouse where you pay for data storage and compute power as you use it. There are a few parts of the cost structure which can make it confusing to figure out how expensive Snowflake will be in your case, but hopefully after watching this video you'll have a good basic understanding of how the cost structure works. The first thing to understand is storage cost. Storage cost depends on three things. The first thing is the cloud platform you're hosting Snowflake on, which can be Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, or Amazon Web Service. The second thing that impacts storage cost is the cloud region that your Snowflake is being hosted from. The last thing that impacts storage cost is how you pay for it, and there are two options. Either on demand, where you'll build what you've used at the end of each month, or pre-purchased, where you pay for storage in advance, usually once a year, and your monthly bill gets deducted from that credit. And so to get an idea of actual storage cost, one possible Snowflake configuration could be a pay-on-demand plan hosted in Azure from Eastern Australia, and at the time of making this video, that would cost $46 US per terabyte per month. And for comparison, if we were to have a Snowflake account set up with Azure in Eastern Australia again, but pre-purchase our storage, that would only cost $25 US per terabyte per month. So there's quite a cost difference between different payment types. If you'd like to know how much a different configuration of Snowflake would cost, you can follow the link in the description below to the Snowflake website, where they'll have up-to-date prices for all possible Snowflake configurations. The next part of the cost structure is usage cost. Every time you run a query in Snowflake, that query is handled by a server in your host location, and you pay for the compute power. Usage cost also depends on a few things, and similar to storage, it does also depend on the cloud platform and region of your Snowflake account. Another thing that affects your usage costs is your Snowflake Edition, which can either be the standard, enterprise, business critical, or virtual private Snowflake Edition. Each one offers a different level of service and has a different price for compute power. So if we stick with our example from before, having a Snowflake account hosted in Azure from Eastern Australia, the first three editions would cost 275, 405, or 550 US dollars, not per query, but per credit. And so the next obvious question is, how many credits does it take to run a query? In most cases, it'll be less than one, but that also depends on the warehouse you use to run the query and the runtime of the query. Warehouses come in a range of sizes. Larger warehouses will be faster at running queries, but will charge more credits per hour of runtime. Credit costs range from one credit per hour for an extra small warehouse to 512 credits per hour for a 6XL. Snowpark optimized warehouses are also available for workloads that need a lot of memory, like training machine learning models. To check the size of the warehouse that you're using to run queries, open a Snowflake workbook and click on the name of the warehouse at the top right. Your warehouse names and their sizes will be listed. The gray dot beside a warehouse means it's inactive for this user, so this user isn't currently being charged credits. As soon as you run a query, the dot will turn green as the warehouse activates, and the warehouse will remain active for at least one minute. If a query runs for longer than one minute, the warehouse will deactivate when the query has finished running. So basically that means running a five second query will charge the full 60 seconds of warehouse time. Running a 70 second query will charge full 70 seconds of warehouse time. Everything we've gone over so far for storage costs and usage costs cover most of what you need to know about Snowflake's cost structure, although there are a few additional parts that will be more specific to different accounts. For example, discounts, which can reduce your storage costs, and you might qualify for one depending on your level of use. Cloud service fees, which might be applied if you need some extra management or coordination of your Snowflake account above what's provided for free. Other types of warehouse usage, as in using warehouse compute power for things other than standard queries, like streaming data, transferring data across regions, and search optimization. All these things are possible in Snowflake and have their own associated costs and so on. If you'd like to find out more information on cost specifics, they're all explained on the Snowflake website. For the last part, we'll go through an example of what a year of Snowflake use might cost for a hypothetical business. This example comes straight from the Snowflake pricing guide. This business has a Snowflake account hosted in the United States using a standard Snowflake edition and runs a small and medium warehouse for different tasks. Small ones used to run a two and a half hour loading task every night. The medium one is used by eight employees for their day-to-day -day work. This business also has an average of four terabytes of data stored on Snowflake, which they pre-purchase. And this usage also qualifies them for a 5% discount on their usage costs. So if you price that up, starting with the storage cost, pre-purchase storage from the United States costs $23 per terabyte per month. 
So for those four terabytes over 12 months, that comes to 1,104 US dollars. Next are the usage costs, which are split into the daily loading task and daily work. The loading task takes two and a half hours and runs on average 31 days a month for 12 months per year. The small warehouse costs two credits per hour and the Snowflake Standard Edition costs $2 per credit. After applying a 5% discount, that comes to 3,534 US dollars. For daily work between the eight employees, they're using the medium warehouse for an average of 10 hours per day for 20 days a month and 12 months a year. The medium warehouse costs four credits per hour, and again, the Snowflake Standard Edition is $2 per credit. After applying the 5% discount, that comes to 18,240 US dollars. And so altogether, that adds up to 22,878 US dollars for the year. So I hope that helps with understanding Snowflake's cost structure. As always, thank you for watching.